Automation, while it's a great place to start, I think that it actually holds people back from reaching financial independence. Because in reality, automation is really just the status quo and it increases the chance that you're going to be complacent. The whole strategy to reach financial independence as fast as possible is that you wanna make and save and then invest as much money as you can and so the simple idea is that you should be investing every bonus that you get. You should be investing more when you make side hustle income. You should be investing more when you get that $50 check from your grandparents for your birthday. That's money that you should be investing in order to reach financial independence. And automation, it's a great start. You know, if you're saving 5% in your 401k, congratulations, that's better than most people. But that's not going to be enough. And so one of the things that I recommend, a simple strategy really, is no matter how much you're saving, say in your 401k or your IRA or your savings account, try to increase it at least 1% every 30 days. So that's one way that automation is not enough. Because if you just automate your savings, you're gonna be saving a consistent amount, but you're not going to be saving as much as you can. So an extra 1% every 30 days, by the end of one year, you're gonna be saving at least 12% more. After three years, your savings rate is gonna easily, even if you're starting from zero, is gonna be over 35%. And if you've gone from zero to 35%, you've literally cut 25 years probably off the time it'll take you to retire. And so I recommend that automation is a starting point. It's your baseline. But in addition to that, I recommend you spend five minutes a day. I do this in the morning. I just do it with my coffee. I spend five minutes a day and I just try to increase my investing or savings rate and invest any additional money that I'm making. And that is how you fast track financial freedom.